Okay, so a quick update on this uh, Begiga metal raised bed that I uh, set up earlier in the year. So this is the bed unpacked. Uh, we can see it comes very neatly in this small box here. Quite easy to unpack it. Uh, something to note is remember to remove the plastic coating before you assemble the bed, otherwise you're in for a whole world of pain. So you have it basically almost assembled. It, it only took about 20 minutes to assemble this with the little nuts and bolts provided by the company, 10 millimeter stainless steel to bolt together this uh, rust resistant um, al anodized or aluminized bed and it will last for 20 years plus. Here it is assembled, ready to fill. And uh, here we are, I have started to fit cardboard into the base of the bed. This will uh, restrict weed growth and also encourage worms, which is good for any garden. I'm starting to fill it up here with logs and twigs, etc., in the bottom because I really don't need the whole depth of the bed because I'm just growing shallow rooted vegetables, as we shall see later. Here we have some twigs and branches and things built into it. Topped it up with some grass cuttings and dead leaves from the garden. This will give uh, nitrogen to the whole mix. And then filled it up here with some mixture of compost and topsoil, some vermiculite. And this will settle over time after the first year, but then we just top it up again to acceptable levels. And here we have the bed. Uh, this is one similar bed planted in my wife's nursery. And uh, we started growing some peas and beans, climbing up a metal frame in the centre. This held together with some beans. Here we have it later on, back to the first bed. This is planted out with beetroot, peas, beans and broccoli with some onions amongst that lot somewhere. So as we can see, all growing very nicely, very successful. Got to say I am 100% pleased with the results of this round raised bed. So there you are, quick update. Thanks very much for uh, following and I'll see you on the next video.